Okay, we're back again with Dar Holdsworth of Brass Ball Bobbers. Do you see um, any different type of styling trends heading to the future? Or is Brass Balls, Bobbers, Dar and Motorcycles going to stay more on this traditional retro trend? Or um, just what direction styling wise? Other than, you know, the variations you just talked about, do you think you'll be taking care of? Well, you know, we're certainly not going to uh, alienate what's got us here. We're going to stick with that. Uh, there's a lot of people that like it, and, you know, these are bikes from this in the 40s and 50s, so um, they've been around in, in terms of the styling, so we're going to stick with that. We're probably going to get more aggressive, uh, maybe in... 2009. You know, for 2008, we've got a lot of bike orders to, to fulfill. Um, adding this new bike uh, that I mentioned, plus adding the soft tail. Did I say the soft tail? All right. So we've got the fat bike, and we have a soft tail for each one of those versions: a soft tail bigger and a soft tail uh, classic bobber. Um, you might see a street fighter, like a V twin street fighter, something. And I know that people are out there doing it already. There's some really great builders out there doing some really nice stuff, but. Uh, we're probably going to be into 2009 before we get more aggressive with our styling. It sounds like you're really on the pulse of the trends right now. Um, if somebody wants to actually own a Brass Balls Bobber or discuss with you doing something special, just how would they go about doing that? Well, uh, first I'd encourage them to go to our website because on our website you can build your bike and uh, we designed something that was really interactive that the customer can get involved with their bike, at least from a virtual aspect and they can choose their wheels, they can choose their tank, they can choose their handlebars, their brake lights, etc. Once they get an idea of what they like or what they think their bike's going to be, then uh, we have them submit that to us and they can either give me a phone call or they can uh, submit it via email. And uh, once they submit it, then we have some dialogue about really the way they want the bike to, uh, to finish out. And from there, we put a bill sheet together for them, send it to them, and uh, once we get uh, exactly what they want, uh, we take their deposit and put it in production. Um, what is that phone number and email address? Uh, the phone number at the office is 405-285-0808. Anyone who has any questions, they can email me directly at dar at darwinmotorcycles.com. You know, I know um, you've talked about wanting to control the quality and hand build the bikes and really keep that specialized equipment, but when you come up with the type of excitement and product that you have, um, a lot of dealers want to get involved. Do you have any plans on developing a dealer network or is everything going to be going through uh, Darwin Motorcycles directly? <laughs> I hope we get a dealer, motorcycle, uh, dealer network because uh, I'm running out of hours in the day. Um, actually, I'm happy to say that we are working with some really uh, good dealer prospects. Can't reveal them today uh, because we're in some negotiations right now, but we hope to have a dealer network uh, uh, started in the coming month or two, certainly by Daytona, that we can announce to people via our website and people um, will have other avenues than just us uh, to get our bikes. Well, Dar, it sounds like you got a lot in the works there and we're pretty excited for you. It's always good to have new products and exciting designs. That's what motorcycling is all about, especially with somebody that has the passion that uh, you uh, have shown us today. I'd like to thank you for uh, joining us on BikerNet TV and hope to talk to you again sometime. Great. Thanks for having me on. I'll come back anytime.